The following is a special presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And I forgot to do this all in Twitch. Hold on one second. Okay, I remember to actually open up the chat window. Today, we unexpectedly lost Franco Harris at the age of 72. And I did not realize until today that the Pittsburgh Steelers never retired his number. And it's supposed to happen Saturday. In fact, I'm sure it will happen Saturday, Christmas Eve, when uh, one day after the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception game, that is not the game that we are going to replay. They are going to play the Oakland Raiders. But Harris's best, most productive season on the ground was 1975. And that would have been the first, no, the second Super Bowl year. They beat the Dallas Cowboys in Miami in January of 76. So that particular, this particular year, uh, Harris ran for over 1,240 yards. They will be playing their nemesis, the Oakland Raiders. And second to 10 has them as a 10-point favorite are the Steelers. So this one is kind of, you know, I remember Franco Harris. I go, my first football memory really is Super Bowl Nine, which is the Steelers win over the Minnesota Vikings uh, in New Orleans. So this is the prelude to Super Bowl Ten. It is a cold day in Pittsburgh, 24 degrees, winds blowing at 12 from right to left, and skies are cloudy as we get going there, but time to give Franco Harris some due, and I'm honestly surprised that the Steelers hadn't done this yet, but anyway, for Franco, this is for you. And these two teams are not good passing teams, they're decent running teams, the key players for the Oakland uh, Raiders, Philip Filibiano, is their best player overall. He's rated 132 as a linebacker. Cliff Branch, Gene Upshaw, Art Shell, and Skip Thomas, who I don't remember in any way. But the offensive line is good. There's going to be a lot of running in this football game. Now Blount is considered the Steelers' best player. Jack Lambert, Jack Ham, part of the Steel Curtain, Lynn Swan, and Terry Bradshaw. So you would have been surprised to be that, that Franco wasn't in the top five with that. So what they do do well is return punts and fumble. The toss is won by the Raiders. It's helpful if you actually, you know, hit the button. There we go. The toss is won by the Raiders. And they will receive. And Pittsburgh will kick into the wind. London Enjoyer, how are you? You are our latest follower. Durella to kick off. Harold Hart and Warren Bangston back to return. And we'll plummet this deep. It's taken by Bangston at the 16, heads to the sidelines, and is brought down at the 28. It'll be for Oakland, the skill players are Kenny Stabler is the quarterback, Pete Banaszek and Mark Van Egan, the primary running backs, between them 29 carries. Jess Phillip and Harold Hart left 15 carries. This will be a very, very run-heavy game. Oakland in the white jerseys with the black numbers lined in silver with the silver pants. Cliff Branch and Mike Ciani are the wide receivers. Bob Moore is actually their top tight end. Dave Casper has one catch. And Banaszak and Van Egan 
10 make catches out of the backfield. Ray Guy is the punter, and the Angels' George Blanda is the kicker. And it's going to be a give to Banizek first and 10. They watch for Van Egan. Purdy Holmes sheds a blocker and holds Banizek to a yard. It'll be second down and nine. So the Raiders, just the start of things here, have the ball. It is 24 degrees. The wind is blowing from right to left at 12, which is going to make kicking an awful big challenge. Now Van Egan will get a carry. Second and nine, hand off to Van Egan. He pushes ahead for a gain of three, and that'll leave third down and six, which pretty much forces Oakland into a running situation. So the steel curtain... Well, let's meet the Oakland offensive line. It's pretty good. Dave Dalby, your center. Art Shell and John Bella, the tackles. George Bueller and the Hall of Famer Gene Upshaw are the guards. For the Steelers, the Steel Curtain lines up in a 4-3. Ernie Holmes and Joe Green are the defensive, end, are defensive tackles. Dwight White and Elsie Greenwood are the defensive ends. The linebackers, Andy Russell with Jack Ham and Jack Lambert. I mean, it's a virtual who's who of defensive players here for the Steelers. And the defensive back, Glenn Edwards and Mike Wagner are the safeties. Mel Blount and J.T. Thomas Jr. are the corners. You're going to use pro, pro strategy football is a good one to do. So third down and six. Medium pass to Cliff Branch. Pittsburgh in a standard set. He looks for there, overthrown by Stabler, and the wind knocks it down. So the Raiders go three and out. Let me see if I can get rid of the text stuff here. Uh... No, it doesn't look like I can do much of anything with that. Bummer. That's a bummer. So the late red guy will stand on his 17-yard line. He will punt to Dave Brown. And Pittsburgh playing for the return, and this is a boomer. And it's fielded at the 7 by Brown, over the 10, to the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's caught from behind at the 45, a 61-yard punt. And a 38-yard return as the Steelers on their own 45. Franco Harris and Rocky Blyer, the two setbacks. They'll also use Frenchie John Fuqua. And Reggie Harrison, Lynn Swan, and John Stallworth, the primary wide receivers. And again, this is going to be run, run city. Larry Brown, the tight end. Franco Harris and Rocky Blyer can catch out of the backfield. It'll be first and 10 at the Steeler 45. The key on Harris, he gets about six yards, but there's a flag down. Offense. And it will be on the Steelers. Too many men on the field. You can get six yards on first down when you have 12 men. This isn't, by the way, Canadian football. So it's first and 15 for the Steelers on their own 40. Harris on a draw. Oakland with a safety blitz. Harris doesn't get much. He gets two yards before Jack Tatum knocks him down. Here is the Steeler offensive line. Wow, no Mike Webster. Ray Mansfield is the center. How you doing, Big Dave? Jim Clack and Jerry Mullins, the guards. Gordon Gravel and John Kolb, the tackles. The Oakland defense is almost as famous as Pittsburgh's. They play a 4-3. Art Toms and Otis Sistrunk are the tackles. 
Tony Klein and Horace Jones, the defensive ends. The middle linebacker, the linebackers, Monty Johnson in the middle, Philip Villapiano on the right, and Gerald Irons on the left. The safeties, it'll be Butch Atkinson and Jack Tatum are the safeties. Old man Willie Brown and Skip Thomas are the corners. How you doing, Jamie? So second down and 13 for the Steelers on their own 42. This time it'd be Rocky Blyer on a run. They double up on Swan. Blyer gets a big hole into the secondary and gets a gain of 12. Jack Tatum makes the tackle. And it will be third down in a short one. The Steelers are going into the wind here in the first quarter. So third and one. The Raiders had to punt their first time out. Safety plays back with double brown as Franco on the run. And Harris is cut down by Monty Johnson for a loss of one. And so what you would expect to be a game of chess between these two teams is on the start. They couldn't get the yard. It's fourth and two. And despite the fact they're in Oakland territory, out comes Bobby Walton to make the punt. Neil Colsey back to return. How you doing, Matt? Walton opened the coffin corner this and he does it rolls dead at the 8 yard line so first and 10 from the 8 again Banizak and Van Egan the setbacks for the Raiders and if we do get into a close game as in the 7 point margin in the 4th quarter that plays in the Raiders hands despite the fact that Pittsburgh won the AFC. Pittsburgh playing for the pass. Banasek has it. Stopped inside. Goes around. Gets a gain of three. Second and seven coming up from the Oakland 11. I didn't realize that Harris was on as late as yesterday. He was on with um, Christopher Russo on Sirius XM on his channel. Second down and seven. Van Egan, the fullback. Gets this from Stabler. There's a good hole. Ed Bradley with a tackle. Going to be a measure. And it's going to be short. Just short. So third down and a very short one from their own 17. Two tight end sets. Siani is out. Casper is in. Casper is in. It'll be Banasek on the run. Pittsburgh plays for Banasek. Pete gets the ball. Cuts right. Gets five. Tack Lambert made the tackle. Pittsburgh keyed, but Oakland had the two tight end set, and that sprung the block. No, it was very sudden, Jamie. Jamie says, I didn't know that either. Wasn't sure if his death was sudden or if he'd been ill. Siani back in the backfield, or with Branch now. Oakland will try a medium throw first and 10 on their 22. Branch has it at the 36. Gets a voids tacklers and is hit by Mel Blount at the 45, a gain at 23. So the first time that anyone goes to the air that's successful, they get a gain at 23. Four plays, 37 yards on the drive. Jess Phillips comes in for the first time. He's the fullback. He'll run it. Pittsburgh run key on Phillips. It's a good call. Lauren Taze makes the tackle, and it's second and 10. 8-10 to go. First quarter, no score. And what should be a slobber knocker between these two teams? Banasek. Steelers with a run key on him. Pete... Won't get anywhere as Ernie Holmes will shut him down. So it's third down and long now from their own 45. Cold day here in Pittsburgh, 24 degrees. The Raiders have the wind at their backs. Medium short to Bob Moore. That's who the Steelers double. Stabler throws that way, looks around. He goes for Branch, and it's tipped away by Mike Wagner. 
And Ray Guy will come out and punt to Glenn Edwards. So Guy already has a 61-yard punt. This one won't be that good. Caught by Edwards at the 14. Gets around after a gain of five. So 41 on the gross and 36 on the net. And the Steelers, with 7.18 to go in the first quarter, take over on their own 19. It is Harris, by the way, is the fullback. Blyer, the halfback. Oakland plays for the run to Keon Harris. It's Blyer. Rocky gets three before Gerald Irons can drag him down at the 22. Bradshaw's going to go to the air. He's going to try a medium pass to John Stallward. Oakland running on Harris. Bradshaw to throw. He's in trouble. He looks around. He tries for Blyer. Has it to the 24. Rocky is hit. But he won't go down until he gets to the 35-yard line. And Willie Brown will bring him down. So Rocky Blyer doing his impression of a weeble wobble. Got it, got hit, and wouldn't go down. And the Steelers have it first and 10 on their own 35. Harris, keyed by Oakland, gets the ball. Flag on the play. He's hit at the 39 by Sistrunk. Holding. Offense. But he had some help from his line. And so it'll be first and 20 instead on their own 25. Uh, Matt, was Webster hurt in 75? I'm going to run a draw on first and 20. Oakland in the zone. Give this to Franco. Gets flag a good another flag on the play. Gets a hole. Butch Atkinson brings him down. Offense. But another hold. It's like a middle school dance out there. So take the nine yards off the board. And goodness gracious, Buffy St. Marie, it's first and 30. Franco in the flat. He can't get it. Irons all over him, and it's second down in 30. Oakland played for the run and just blanketed the backfield. So the clock is stopped, 5.29. Stall, uh, Swan on a medium pass. Raiders play for the pass. Cool house blitz to Swan, and Skip Thomas tips it away, and there are no good plays on third and 30. Webster was not a regular starter until 1976. See what I know. This is not the immaculate reception game. If you really want to say it's any sort of replay, it's the AFC Championship game from 75, Harris's most productive year, 1,240 yards. Three wide receiver set. Come on, stop with the second button here. Still a tremendous rivalry in the set. Absolutely. Oh, I'm not going to read that one, Brad. He'll, have, he'll get his day soon. Third down and 30. Bradshaw looking around, and there ain't nobody there. And so you're not going to call an intentional grounding on fourth and 30. Bobby Walton out to punt. Neil Colsey to take the return. How you doing, midlife crisis? Oakland will play for the return. Walden gets us away easy, but it's short. Colsey at the 49 of Pittsburgh, and he gets a gain in nine. So the terrible towel debuted this week. The week before against the Colts. That I remember. Not that specific game, but I remember the terrible towels. Uh, Midlife Crisis says, I was looking at that. I was thinking about this game or the versus the Chiefs with the worst re run defense. No, I think you got to do the Raiders. you got to do the Raiders. Remember, on the Immaculate Reception game, Frenchie Fuqua was the feature back for the Steelers. It wasn't Franco Harris, although Harris had a good year. Jess Phillips will have it first and 10 on the Steelers 40. He's keyed. And Ernie Holmes... Goodness, he saved a 10-yard run at least. 
and nails him in the backfield. Oh, yeah. You got to play him against Oakland. So the Steeler defense, who ate broken glass for breakfast, makes the tackle. A little dump off to Bob Moore is the call. A double branch Stabler has Moore at the 38. Has room. Gets around the first defender. He's going to get a first down. Okay. David Brown with the tackle at the 25. And it's first and 10 for the Raiders. Right there at the Steeler 25. So the Raiders have done a better job moving the football. Van Egan in for Phillips, says the fullback. Just to tell you what a different era it was for running. The primary backs for both teams, Van Egan. Yeah, Ray Guy did pass away a little bit ago. Van Egan and Harris are fullbacks. A position that no longer exists really today. They're blocking backs. Pittsburgh playing for the pass. Give us to Van Egan. Mark gets a good hole. And he's tripped up by Lambert after a gain of 10. Is it enough? No. They get the Dave Gardner measurement. And it's short. Yeah, early November. So it'll be Banasek on second and short. Pittsburgh on the run blitz. Banasek is driven back by Elsie Greenwood for a loss of one. Yep, and Guy, his first punt tonight was 61 yards. And the Steelers returned to 38. So third down and two. Two straight-ahead kickers. The ageless George Blanda could hit from here if they can't get any further. Harold Hart now in the backfield. And that's who the Steelers key on. And Hart is brought down. Jack Lambert with a two-yard loss. So Blanda will come out. This is the first year it's on the end line, right? Not on the goal line anymore. So a 36-yard attempt for Blanda. John says this was some of my earliest football memories. Me too, buddy. Living in Florida at the time, my brother loved the Steelers, and his best friend was a Raider fan. Loved Pete Banasek. That just, that name, just, there was actually a police detective by that name. Played by George Papard. But that's such a football name, Banachek. All right, Blanda sets up for the first points of the game. From right at the test here, in with the wind on its way, it is good. So good from 36 yards, and Blanda with 2:18 to go in the opening quarter. It is the Raiders 3, the Steelers nothing. This is a tribute to Franco Harris on Retro Sports Network. Blanda can hit anywhere with his age. Now, only if you could shoot your age in golf at 49 or whatever it was. Collier and Brown, by the way. The deep men for Pittsburgh. Blanda puts it in play, and it's going to bounce out of bounds, and the Steelers are going to catch a break. Kick off one out of bounds. Kicking team. So it's a five-yard penalty, and we will do it again. Blanda kicks it deep from his own 30 this time. Pittsburgh has it to 15. Brown brings it out to the 39. Receiving team. But somebody had an illegal block from behind. So first and 10 from the Steelers, 17. Frenchie, come on, Frenchie Fuqua <sighs> is in the backfield now with Franco Harris. John is the halfback. Franco the fullback. Raiders play for Fuqua. Franco has it. Oh, a huge hole. He's got room. Over the 30 to the 34, a gain of 17. And Franco's army is in full throat now. As he just ripped that one off for 17 yards. So the Steelers get a fresh set on their own 34. 
It'll be Frenchy Fuqua now, the halfback. Oakland plays for Harris and sends it Fuqua. And Frenchy gets a gain of six before Villapiano can make the tackle. So a gain of six, second down and four. So two plays on this drive for the Steelers for 23 yards. This is second and ten. Brad which comes with every NFL season. Rocky Blyer back in the game, second and four. Franco, Oakland playing for the pass. Give us to Harris. Franco finds an opening. He gets four, but he gets it over the marker, and it's another first down for the Steelers. First and ten on their own 44. One price... We'll have one more play in the quarter, by the way. 16 seconds to go. One price every NFL season from 1930 and 5,000 free college teams. A Swan on a medium pass. Oakland playing for the one. Bradshaw has got Swan at the Oakland 46. He gets loose, but old man Willie knocks him down at the 35. And as the first quarter ends, it's a gain of 21. So when we come back, the Steelers are in Oakland territory with the wind at their backs. Yeah, it only took 26 minutes to play the open in the first quarter. We'll show you the stats right after this. So Franco Harris, four carries, 22 yards in the first quarter. Rocky Blyer, two for 15. Again, Stabler and Bradshaw, Hall of Fame quarterbacks, but their numbers, not very great. And total yards. We have a total net yards of 62 for Oakland, 77 for Pittsburgh. The Steelers are the ones that are making all sorts of penalties. They've had four for 35. The Lone Raider penalty was the Blanda kick out of bounds. Four first down for Pittsburgh, three for Oakland. As we get set to start the second quarter, the only score in the Blanda field goal. So second, first and ten from the Oakland 35. Franco on a medium short pass. He's going to get it at the 31. Skip Thomas shuts it down after a gain of four, but brought down at the 31. And they're already kind of in range for Roy Jarella, should they need it. Blyer, second and six. Oakland, double Stallworth. Give us to Rocky, and there's a flag down. He's got a huge hole, and Neil Colsey knocks him out at the 20. But... Holding. Offense. Arthur Murray is impressed with the amount of holding calls that Pittsburgh has received so far. I believe it's their fourth. So it drives about a field goal range as El Mao set up second and 16 from the Oakland 41. Franco on the draw. Bradshaw gives it to him. That should be good. Harris gets a gain of four. Spotted at the 37. Third down and 12. Steelers in their black jerseys, white numbers, white and yellow stripes and pants with a black helmet. And remember, the Steeler logo was only on one side. Three wide receivers. Frank Lewis is in the game. Medium short. The tight coverage. Raiders kitchen sink blitz. Bradshaw. Sistron gets through. Bradshaw's got a stroll. He's looking for someone else. He goes deep to Swan. And no, sir. 
No chance on that. The completion chance there was minus 39. As in no way, no how, not even last man on earth stuff. So fourth and set 12, really from no man's land. How the heck do you punt from here? They bring out Bobby Walden. And Walden trying to cough in corner. It can. It's a touchback, and the Raiders will take over on their own 20. So 13-13 to go in the first half. Raiders 3-0 over Pittsburgh. Harold Hart will get the first carry here. Steelers playing for the pass. Hart spins, fights, and gets a yard. So all that for one yard. As Banizek comes back in the game. Van Egan. Pittsburgh playing for the run. They're keying on Van Egan. Van Egan stood up. He goes nowhere. A gaggle of Steelers with a tackle on his third and nine. Chuck Noll couldn't have been happy with that putt. No, but what do you do from the 37? You can't kick a field goal. However, they're one play away from forcing an Oakland punt. Screen to Van Egan. Edwards on the blitz. It's going to be a successful pass. Van Egan has it on the 19, but he's knocked down by Kays after a gain of four. So it'll be fourth and five, and so the Steelers force a three and out. Guy coming in to punt. Dave Brown to return it. Nice punt to the 33. Brown is going to get advantage in an 11-yard gain. So a 42-yard punt in the 11-yard return. 11.29 to go, first half. Three-nothing Raiders. So Harris and Blyer in the backfield, first and 10. Raiders play for the run. The key on Bradshaw, give us to Blyer, or Blyer. He follows John Cobb for a game of three. Bradshaw can run, by the way. They were going to see if Terry could spell C-A-T and run a D-R-A-W. Stallworth on a medium short. Oakland blitzes. Here it comes. Bradshaw scrambles. He looks for Blyer. Has it at the 45. Has some room. And a gain of nine yards. First and ten. On the Oakland 44. That's where the old goalpost location made the difference, Sean says. They would attempt a field goal if the Raiders didn't return the ball and place at the 20. Think the rule had changed for 75, though. So first and 10 on the busted play. Franco. Going to get the run here. Oakland blitzes. Give to Franco. Oh, Gerald Irons. Almost had Franco wrapped up before Harris had the football. Second and 12. A 69 graduate of Penn State. I know that that Penn State team is made for second and 10, along with Action PC football. Mike Collier in the backfield of Franco Harris. Second and 12 from the Oakland 46. Give us to Collier. Gets a hole. And he gets eight. It'll be third down and four from the Raider 38. 9-12 to go in the first half. Harris, third down and four. Raiders... Double swan, give to Franco, changes direction, gets a first down, gain of six. Big play, first and ten now from the Raider 32. Filipiano brought him down. Eight and a half to go, clock running, first half. Three, nothing Oakland. Swan on a medium pass, first and ten. Raiders play for the run. Give us to Swan. Has it at the 17. Thomas closes quickly, holds him to a 19-yard gain. So when Franco, I mean when Bradshaw throws, that was, you know, it's been effective. And so it's first and ten from the Oakland 13.
Wire now in the backfield with Harris, first and ten. Steelers wind up their back. It's a cold day in Pittsburgh, 24 degrees. Don't forget, Grandstand follows the game. And then we'll preview the NBC Bowl doubleheader for 76. The Rose Bowl, which I'm sure Michigan will lose. And the Orange Bowl. They play a run blitz. Give us to Blyer. Rocky gets it to the six-yard line. Found a good read on it. And Monty Johnson brought him down. Second and three. The Steelers are knocking on the door at the Raiders' six. Give us to Franco Harris. They double swan. Give to Franco. He goes ahead and scores. Franco Harris. Touchdown, Steelers. Eight plays, 56 yards, 434 off the clock. I'm sure there'll be a number of, of Franco Harris tributes. I think Pesky Paul is going to do one on his channel using Pro Strategy Football. If he's still here, will he do the Immaculate Reception game? So Harris scores in his tribute game. Jarella to tack on the extra point, and it's good. Eight plays, 56 yards, 434 off the clock. With 6.55 to go in the first half, it's the Steelers 7, the Raiders 3. So Jess Phillips and Warren Bangston back deep to return. They stand on the goal line. There should be a G there, by the way. Phillips at the 12. Goes out of bounds, however, after a nice return, and the Raiders start this drive from their own 43. Banasek with a run. Pittsburgh keys on Van Egan. Banasek gets smothered by Dwight White for a loss of one. And again, these two defenses just knock each other silly. The only thing missing would be a steel-toed boot match between Noel and Madden at midfield, although I don't think either one of them would do that. Screen to Banasek is the call. Branch double coverage. Stadler under pressure. Tries to screen. No. A bad pass that Andy Russell got a hand on. Third and 11. So Siani on a medium pass. Third down, a double branch. When Stabler, medium pass, and that is intercepted by Mike Wagner. Going to get room over midfield. 40, 30. Wagner looking. He's brought down at the Oakland 24. A gain of 27. And the steel curtain, like a mousetrap, just snapped on the hand of Kenny Stabler. And the Steelers are already in scoring position with 5.52 to go in the half. Blyer and Reggie Harrison in the backfield. Harrison from the 24. Oakland playing for the run, but they go for Blyer. Harrison gets two. He runs into Art Toms. And we're down to 5.11. Second and eight from the Oakland 22. Ratch on the screen to Harrison is the call. That won't get anywhere. He looked for him and Mike Dennery knocked it away. So third down and eight. Yeah, that def this de these defenses. I mean, here's the Pittsburgh defense. I mean, that's that's Canton right there. Greenwood, Holmes, Green, White, Ham, Russell, Lambert, Blount, Glenn Edwards, Mike Wagner, and J.T. Thomas Jr. I mean, how many of those are in, are in I was going to say Cooperstown, in Canton? Seven? Seven? And for the Raiders, Klein, Toms, Sistrunk, Jones, Irons, Johnson, Villapiano, Thomas, Atkinson, Tatum, and Brown. 
Yeah. Yeah, these defenses are pretty good. Third down and eight from the Raider 22. Blyer and Harrison stay in the backfield. Little dump down to Stallworth. Swan double covered. Stallworth can't get there. And they'll bring out Jarella to see if he can make this a one touchdown game. This would be from 39 yards. All three linebackers were all pros. Oh, yeah. So Jarella with the wind behind him from 39 on its way. And it is no good. But. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Defense. Oh, they get a reprieve from the governor. They tried to do the jump. It's a five yard personal foul. And so instead of it being a bet, no, it's fourth and three. I'm sorry, fourth and three. So Jarella will try again. This time it'll be from 34. That's rare. I thought that was a personal foul, but it is not an automatic first down. Typical rate is indeed. Jarella from 34. This time around. Good. And so Jarella converts it, and with 4.50 to go in the first half, the Steelers 10, the Raiders 3. Van Egan and Bankston back to return. Bankston at the 11. Hit at the 29, hangs on to the football, and it'll be first and 10 for Oakland right there. Banasek first down. Pittsburgh looking for the run and Van Egan. Banasek is stopped by Elsie Greenwood after a one yard gain. This is kind of like a Philadelphia Flyer hockey game from the period. You're just not going to have any fillings in your mouth after this. Van Egan will get the carry. A double Siani. Van Egan gets around somebody and is knocked down for a gain of two. 335, and now we'll start giving some chances here for some timeouts. Siani on a medium pass. Pittsburgh kitchen sink blitz. Stabler back to throw. He's hurried. He's flushed. He's going to be brought down by Dwight White for an 11 yard loss. And three rivers erupts as one. The Raiders will not call time. There is 3.06 to go from the Raider 21. And now Guy is going to stand on his six and punt this into the wind. Pittsburgh playing for the return. Guy to the 39 of Pittsburgh. Brown's got room. He is knocked out at midfield. A 40-yard punt, an 11-yard return. Yeah, they were a team you love to hate. They were the team, because I'm a, I am think I'm around your age, that you kind of figured when Darth Vader started hanging out that the Raiders would have been his football team. They were as bad as pure as a driven slush on a spring day. First and 10 for the Steelers. Harrison will get a draw, 2.58 to go. Bradshaw gives it to Harrison, and Reggie gets a gain of four. We'll take it down to 2.20 to go in the half. Spotted at the Oakland 46. Franco back in the game. Bradshaw medium short pass. Run blitz. Bradshaw sees it. Finds Harris at the 41. Franco is tackled by Butch Atkinson at the 35. And gets a gain of 11 on the play. So Pittsburgh a first down. They have all three timeouts. And two minutes. And they're almost on the verge of being in field goal range. 
we go to the hurry up offense Harris on an outside run they double swine Franco gets outside for three no timeout a minute 42 to go spotted at the Oakland 32 they never had a great defense great being this is time of the Raiders but there was an intimidation factor that created turnovers. Stickum helped too. Just saying. Dump off pass to Stallworth. They double swan. Bradshaw has to run. Outside he goes. And Jack Tatum brings him down out of bounds for a gain of two. Third down and five. And so, no, they don't have all the Hall of Famers that the Steelers do. But you wouldn't throw them out of bread for eating crackers. Stallworth again. Tight coverage. This time he does find Stallworth. And John is hit at the 22 for a gain of eight. First down. And Pittsburgh will call their first time out. But they're already in field goal range with a buck 23 to go. Harris, an inside run. Raiders play for the run blitz. Harris gets a gain of five, and they run the clock down to one minute. Second and five from the 17. Frank Lewis on a medium pass. Bradshaw doubled up on Swan. Finds Lewis at the two. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. They go to their number three receiver. He was pretty much all by himself. Bradshaw, 100 yards and a half, and the Steelers go up 16 to three. So a seven play, 50 yard drive. And they make Frank Lewis's catch count. So the Steelers doing great work here. They have two touchdowns here. In the second quarter, Jarella converts the extra point. Actually, I think all 17 points have come in the second quarter. The Steelers erupt with 53 seconds to go in a half. They lead the Raiders 17 to 3. Hart and Bankson back deep. Bankson at the 15. He gets it to the 41. So, I'm always amazed just how good the return teams were here. Short kicks on these cold, cold temperatures on the banks of the Allegheny, Mongahela, and Ohio rivers. And good returns as a result. And try a medium long to branch. Steelers double up on branch. And that's going nowhere. Wagner got behind, but tipped it away like a volleyball. Second and 10 from the Raider 41. Screen to Banasek. Pittsburgh in a blitz. A double branch. Stable rush. Got to look around. He goes to Branch. Branch has it. Branch has all sorts of room. 30. He's brought down by Mel Blount nice at the 21. So Stabler... Had all sorts of time to move around. Pittsburgh sent the kitchen sink, and Stabler responded. Timeout offense. So they have two timeouts left in 20 seconds to go. Mike from the truck, how are you? So the Steelers, their first error of the game on defense, and the Raiders and it with a chance to score. Siani on a medium pass. Pittsburgh blitzing again. They send everybody. Siani, no, sir. Mike is going to double dip here. He's going to play Axis and Allies and watch us. So second down and 10 from the Steeler 21. And they are not within range yet for George Bland. Little screen to Banasek here. And Stabler gets it to Banasek at the 23. Jack Lambert holds him to nothing. 
timeout offense. So third down. <laughs> I'm like Santa. I know everything. So third and ten. Again, they need about ten yards, really, to think about it. We're, fr we're friends on Steam, and it popped up. Good offense, but not a great defense. So I'm assuming that... Oh, the access. A good offense, but not a great defense. That is true. Blitzkrieg should not be there. All right. So he's going to have to go for the end zone right here on third and ten. They won't have time for two plays. He wants Siani on a medium long. They double branch. Stabler has him open in the post pattern at the three. No! Andy Russell holds him short. Okay, wasn't sure. Wow, the Raiders get to the three, and that is it. Having George Blanda, your 9,000-year-old kicker, cost them. And after 30 minutes here at Three Rivers, it's the Steelers' 17. That's right. I play Gems of War and Eve a lot. <laughs> Anyway, the stats and the stories after I take a drink and you see this. Well, 65,900, absolutely spellbound here at Three Rivers. Pittsburgh had 17 unanswered points in the second quarter. Franco Harris, the man we're honoring a six-yard run. And then Jarella, a 34-yard field goal. And then Frank Lewis, a 17-yard touchdown pass from Terry Bradshaw to make it 17-3. Harris. 10 carries, 44 to score. I mean, that is a typical Franco Harris game. He also has two catches for 15. Net yards, 114 for the Raiders, 193 for Pittsburgh. And the game did injure some people. So no Clarence Davis, no Fred Bolitnikoff. I thought I disabled injuries. No Hubbard and no Carter. And right now, for the Raiders, that has been a problem. And so, in a tribute game, it's nice that you're the man we're honoring as the leading rusher and the leading receiver. Time of possession belongs to Pittsburgh at 16-18. Steelers will get the kick. The Raiders are going with the wind. Collier and Brown to return it. And Blanda gets a touchback. He's going to go now find a six-pack and a, and a thing of Winston's to recover from that kick. So again, Blyer and Harris. Swan and Stallworth. Larry Brown the tight end. Blyer first and 10 from their own 20. They double Stallworth. Rocky gets a gain of five before Art Toms can make the play. Gravel, Clack, Mansfield, Mullins, and Cobb, the offensive line for Pittsburgh. The Raiders defense, their front four, Klein, Toms, Sistrunk, and Jones. Irons, Monty Johnson, and Villapiano, the linebackers, and the Stickham Brigade, Thomas Atkinson, Tatum, and Br old man Willie Brown. Second and five, just the start of the third quarter. Harris from his own 25, Raiders key on him, and Franco gets one. Otis Sistrunk jammed him down, third down and four. 
Gonna run it again to Franco. Oakland doubles up Swan. Franco gets back into a hole and gets a first down. A gain of six before Gerald Irons can make the tackle. And again, I mean, this is typical Franco Harris, Pittsburgh Steeler football, just chip, chip, chip away, but it's a first, a fresh set on their own 32. Bradshaw to throw to Larry Brown on first and 10. They double Stallworth. Bradshaw has Brown open at the 41, and Larry brought down for a gain of nine by Butch Atkinson. Now, what move? Is Mike from the truck plotting? Is he playing the access or the allies? Second and one from the Steeler 41. Run defense, the key on Blyer, that's who I give it to. And Rocky, First however, game. somehow ducks under, and Dave Rowe can't wrap him up until he gets a gain of two. So first and 10 from the Steeler 43. They'll give it to Rocky again. Not Bullwinkle. They double star with Rocky. Huge hole for Rocky. And Monty Johnson brings him down out of bounds after a gain of 13. Just finished. And because Mike from the truck is so equal, he's playing a game from each side. So first and 10 from the Raider 44. The Steelers would do nothing better then to just kind of nail this shut right now with another score because I don't think Stabler can beat you in the air, not against this team. Again? Yes, you're being fair again. Frenchie Fuqua coming in. Watch me pull a wabbit out of my hat. Giovanni Jones, one of my favorites. Little dump off to Fuqua. Raiders play for the run. Frenchie's got it at the 44. He somehow gets three. Second down and seven from the Raider 41. The Steelers now just kind of want to ground and pound. Fuqua. Raiders play for the run. The key Harris is Fuqua instead, and Frenchie gets two. So it's third and five, opening series of the first half, or the third quarter. So second half, and they've taken five minutes off the clock already. Stallworth on a medium pass. Oakland doubles Stallworth. Bradshaw's flushed. Looks, tries to find Swan. Can't get there. And not even Adbert Kapokas can make that play. And they are not in field goal range. And so Bobby Walton is going to try another coffin corner. But the Steelers, nine plays, 41 yards, and do what they need to do. Colsey back for the punt. Walton has all day. Drops it at the one. Oh, he couldn't have spun that any better. And so the Raiders start their first possession of the second half on their one yard line. Two tight end set. It's Moore and Casper. Van Egan, the fullback, first man through. Steelers key Van Egan and Mark somehow got five. The Raiders had to play a tight offensive formation. And Van Egan gives Stabler at least some room to breathe in the shadow of that end zone. Same formation. Pittsburgh plays for the run. They look for Benichek. That's who has it. And Pete gets nothing. He would have had a big play, but Pittsburgh was watching that one all the way. Siani back in the game. Casper on a medium pass. 8.48 to go. Third quarter. Stabler. Third down and five from the six. They play for the run. Casper passes deflected by Mel Blount. The wind kind of held that one down. And on a good day, that would have been a completion. 
but instead, Ray Guy will punt from his end zone. And the Steelers are going to get great field position. Madden calls for the punt. Long snap to Guy. He's slow, but nobody there. Good punt. Fair catch at the Pittsburgh 44. So Guy, I mean, how do you do a tribute game for a punter? But in Franco Harris's game, Guy has a 50-yarder and a 61-yarder. Flyer back in the game. Backfield with Harris. Medium short pass to Harris on first down. They double up Swan. And that won't go anywhere. That's not a catch. That's not a catch. It would have been a big gainer, but it's not a catch. Second and ten now. And Oakland sends Tatum on the blitz. The give is to Franco. And Franco... Gets a big hole. Gerald Iron stops him after a gain of six. Maybe Guy will throw a touchdown and a fake punt. I'm not going to do it from the five. Third and four from midfield. They play for a short pass. Mansfield give us to Blyer. Rocky finds a crease, but Tony Klein knocks him down for a gain of one. And it again will be three and out. Guy was good in the film Galaxy Quest. Okay. So Bobby Walden will punt and pin the Ra hopefully pin the Raiders back deep. Colsey back to return. Very high and very shallow, and there's a flag. Colsey's got room. 30, 40, over midfield. Colsey to the 40, 35, 30. He's brought down at the 20. But this will be a Celine Dion play. Clipping. Receiving team. So what will be a six was a 64 yard return instead goes back half the distance. So Oakland takes over on their own eight. And that's a Celine Dion play because if you clip him like that and hold her like that, it's all just coming back to her now. And so first and 10, instead of it being at the Pittsburgh 20, it's back at the Oakland 8. That is, in effect, a 62-yard penalty. It's more than that. 20, 30. Say 30. 30. 60. It's a 72 yard penalty in effect on the Raiders. Van Egan from the eight. Pittsburgh plays for the pass. Give us the, he's got a huge hole. Bounces to the outside over his 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And Lambert knocks him down at the 31. So a fresh set for the Raiders. 6.45 to go in the third. The Raiders get their money's worth on penalties, although Pittsburgh has had more in this game. Now Banizek. Steelers play for the run. The key on Van Egan. Banizek is hit by Dwight White after a gain of three. Second and 11. And don't forget, if you need help with your cell phone, 611 is the number to call. 611, the time left here in the third quarter. Jess Phillips in the game is the fullback now for Van Egan. Second and seven. He'll get the carry. The key, Banasek Phillips. Can't get much anywhere. Jack Lambert runs him down for a gain of one. 5.41 to go. Stabler, medium pass to Casper the call. Casper. That's intercepted by Mel Blount. He heads to the sideline. He got the ball at the 46. He picks up 11 yards, and the Steelers have force another turnover and start this drive on the Raider 35. And so I know that my Steeler fan friends, Mike and Matt, are in seven heaven. They have stomped so far the Raiders. It'll be Blyer on first and ten. 
They watch for Blyer. Rocky is dropped for a two-yard loss. <laughs> and Mike from the truck says, just called 611. They told me from my sports sims needs sports sim needs to listen to Retro Sports Network. I wonder if you called that number and asked for your MTV. How soon do people with the white coats would be there? Second and 12, 37-yard line. Give us to Harris on a run. Franco gets a block into the secondary. And another first down. Jack Tatum brought him down after a gain of 17. And that puts the ball on the Oakland 20. So 4.05 to go here in the third quarter. And if you're a Steeler fan, this has been all that in a bag of chips. Medium short to Stallworth. They blitz. They double swan. Bradshaw's got Stallworth open. Pulls. He closes quickly, but it's a gain of eight. And then second down and two from the Raider 12. Did Brad leave? I'm actually going to win a tribute game unless the heaven and earth open up. What an effort by the Steelers on both sides of the football. If you're a kid and don't know why this team won four Super Bowls in a six-year stretch, well, you are getting a textbook example of why right now. Second down and two from the Raider 12. It's Harris, Oakland playing for the run. They key Harris. Franco gets the first down anyway. He says, I'll take your key and I'll give you five. So first and goal from the Raiders, seven. 2.39, third quarter. 17-3, Steelers ahead. Bradshaw's going to call his own number here from the seven. The key on Harris. Bradshaw touch tail. Gets five. Second and goal. So the Steelers knocking on the door again. Stallworth comes out. Two tight end set. Brown and Grossman. Harris going to take this and try and score. They key on Harris. Franco gets cut down in the backfield by Gerald Irons, and it's third down and four. So they're going to try this again. They're going to give it to Rocky Blyer from the four. They double up on Swan. Blyer gets three. And it's fourth and one. This will be the last play of the third quarter. And they're going to go. 65,900 say go, go, go. Harris from the one. They're playing for the pass, for goodness sakes. Franco scores. That's six. That's six. Touchdown, Franco Harris. 17 carries, 78 yards, and two scores. And following the turnover, eight plays, 35 yards, and 5.06 off the clock. And because this game is being played in late December, this is almost like the 75 AFC Championship game. Jarella. Yes. So the Steelers go up 24 to 3. So what you guys think about that? So Van Egan and Bangston to take the kick. Jarella short. Bangston the 27 gets to the 49 yard line of Oakland. Well that's a start for Stabler. Medium long to Branch. Pittsburgh playing for the run. They got the chance. Stabler back. Seven-step drop. Branch is running a corner. He's got it at the 38. 
Brought down by J.T. Okay. Thomas at the Pittsburgh 32. And so after 45 minutes, we change ends. They're going to go into the wind. But this one has been all Pittsburgh. It's the Steelers 24, the Raiders 3. So, yeah, I'm going to try to get Harris to 100. He needs 22. So, Terry Bradshaw having a good game. 11 for 19, 122 yards and a touchdown. Franco Harris, 17 for 78. Scoring in the quarter, Harris with a touchdown run from the one. And that'd be that. Stadler not having a bad game, but he's thrown two interceptions. So, he's not having a good game either. Cliff Brantz, the leading receiver now, three catches for 80. Harris, as we said, 17 for 78. Pittsburgh, 17 first downs to seven. And on the ground, the Steelers have pounded out 154 yards, only compared to 57 for the Raiders. And the Steelers own the third quarter. They've now had the ball 28 minutes and 13 seconds. Net yards, 276 for the Steelers, 165 for the Raiders. Phillips and Banasek in the backfield as we start the fourth quarter. First and 10 from the Steelers, 32, offense. and the Raiders have to burn a timeout. With the clock stopped. Again. First and 10, Steeler 32. Pittsburgh looking for Banasek on the run. It's Phillips Black instead. Flag is down. Holmes drops him down for a loss of two. Illegal use of hands. Offense. You can't handle somebody that way. So it's a 10 yard penalty. First and 20 for the Raiders on the Steeler 42. Again, it's Phillips. They jam up on Branch. Phillips gets about four. Elsie Greenwood with the tackle. Banasek on a screen. The key on Phillips Stadler. Back to throw. It's Banasek. Has it. 41. Gets room. Andy Russell brings him out to 33. It's only a gain of five, however, and it's third down and 11. They set up the screen well, but they couldn't get any blocking downfield. Branch on a medium pass. They double Branch. Stabler sticks with him, throws. Branch in traffic has the catch. Ed Bradley, and it's still a first down. So despite everything being Pittsburgh's way on that play, they doubled him. Stabler threw in that direction, and Branch only needs eight yards for 100 on, in the air. Has it first and for, caught it for the first down at the Pittsburgh 21. Van Egan in the backfield. Pittsburgh jamming the receivers. They blitz. Van Egan gets five. Len Edwards with the tackle. Don't need to be in that much of a hurry. Medium short to Casper the call. The key Banasek, Stabler, going to have Casper open at the 13. He is driven out of bounds at the 11, but is he's got it. He's got it, first and 10 from the 11. And when Pittsburgh gets the ball back, slow grinding. Banasek from the 11 is the call. They watch for Dan Egan. Pete has a huge hole and gets seven. So second down and three for the Raiders on the Steeler four. Snowballs flying in from the stands. Second and three. Van Egan 
has it. Won't get it. Mean Joe Green knocks him back to the five-yard line. A loss of one. So third down and four. Don't expect Stabler to run. Two tight end set. Van Egan from the five. They double up on Moore. Give to Van Egan. No, he gets one. And Bland is going to come out for the field goal. 81% chance here for George. It'll be 21 yards. Should be a chip shot. Good. And it is. Nine plays, 47 yards. And they could knock on the door, but they couldn't get in. The Raider defense needs to step up and step up right now. Collier and Brown back deep. Brown at the four. Brown takes it to the 23. And we can play a slow down offense. We're just going to slow this down. It's an old Jimmy Fallon slow jam. Blyer from the 23. Live McKeon on Harris. False start. Somebody moved. Offense. So first and 15 from the Steeler 18. Tribe fan, how are you? 24-6, Steelers lead fourth quarter. Franco Harris needs 22 yards for a century. And he has two touchdowns. We'll call the same play. They're watching Franco give us to Blyer. Rocky sweeps to the right for nothing. And second down and 15. Harris on a medium short. Bradshaw tries to find Franco and Irons. Going to get called? Pass interference. Offense. Oh, it's not Franco Harris. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, he stiff-darned him. Half the distance, second down and 24. From the Pittsburgh 9. It'll be a draw to Harris. Oakland expects it. Harris loses four. Well, not a lot of good plays on third and 28. And Blyer's just going to play tight. They're going to key on Harris again. Give us to Blyer. Rocky's got room to run. He's got a gain of nine. Charlie Phillips brought him down. And the Steelers will punt. They took 218 off the clock. Walden will stand inside of his own end zone. Walden gets it away. High end over and kick. Pulls he at the Raider 44. Gets a gain of seven. Brought down at the Steeler 44. And let's see what the Raiders can do with it. 8.39 to go. Morris Bradshaw with Branch. Little dump off to Bob Moore. Pittsburgh looking for the run. Stabler looks for Moore. Has it at the 40. Was brought down by Mike Wagner for a gain of six. Tick, tick, tick. Banasek, second down and four. They double on branch. Banasek hammered by Joe Green. Falls forward for three. And the Raiders finally go into a hurry up. Seven and a half to go. Third down and one. Stabler's going to sneak it. And he'll lose a yard. So they got to go. They're down 24 to 6. Van Egan inside. They key on Van Egan. Mark. Got a gain of 13. They thought they had to stop. Van Egan just kind of delayed just a little bit. And he gets a gain of 13. Chuck Knoll standing on the sideline going, what in Sam Hill's going on? 6.41 to go. What a carry by Mark Van Egan. Panasek outside. They... Steelers, kitchen sink blitz. Banasek gets one. 
6.04 to go. Second and nine. Bradshaw on a medium pass. They double more. Stabler looks. Not there. JT Thomas deflects it. Third down and nine. Screen to Van Egan. Pittsburgh jams up the wide receiver. Stabler is brought down. He looks around. He gets around. He throws to Banasek. Has it at the 23. And he will lose a yard. Stabler is still on the turf. Gets to his feet. Asks, how, asks his lineman how, how, why is it so cold in New Orleans? And you can't, what do you do here? It's fourth and ten. I guess you got to go. Medium pass to Bradshaw. They got to throw it. He's got to look around. Stabler looks for another read. Branch. Jack Lambert knocks it away, and they'll lose it on downs. And so you see that Kenny Stabler's going, can I get some gumbo? But Kenny, you're in Pittsburgh. Can I get a cheesesteak? Kenny, you're in Pittsburgh. Well, I don't know what I want. Blyer inside. That's what the Raiders are playing for, too, and Rocky loses, too. Going to send Franco outside. Oakland looking for the inside run. Give us to Harris. Franco goes outside. He's got room. 30, 35, 40, 45, 48. The ball is loose. It goes out of bounds. And Franco's got 100 yards. Franco Harris has run for 105 yards on 19 carries. And 65,900. Rise is one. He takes off the helmet. They're still in a two tight end set. And acknowledges the crowd. His army has never been better than it was today. Wow. Blyer. Raiders key on him. There's a flag down. False start. Somebody jumped. Offense. They keep chanting Franco's name. Fuqua will come in. He will try the outside run on first and 15. Frenchie gets to the outside, gets six, stays in bounds. Going to roll to four minutes to go. Harris on a draw. Second down and nine. Everybody's standing. They Light key on, the on Harris, and again... Illegal formation. Offense. Well, I think Noel wanted to go with a single wing, and it didn't work. So second down and 14. Little dump off to Franco. Raiders play for Bradshaw to run it. Harris, no. The stork, Ted Hendricks, made that play. And it'll be third down in Franco time on the outside run. They key on Franco. And this time he goes outside, gets eight more. So Franco now has 113. Fourth down and six. Walden is out for the punt. And there's pie on the clock. 3-14. The Steelers. This really was a 70s, mid-70s game, wasn't it? Have given it to the Raiders. 24-6. Walden. Back to punt. Drops it inside the 10. It rolls dead at the Oakland 5. Good luck with that. So our digital to dice Iron City player of the game, of course, is Rocky Blyer. No, Franco Harris. 
He ran for over 113 yards. Inside the Van Egan here. And Mark gets eight yards. Taze with the tackle. Oakland in a hurry up, and they finally have given Stabler enough to throw, enough room. So Franco Harris, two touchdowns, over 100 yards on the ground. I, I'm still surprised. Was there a fallout? Was there a reason why his number wasn't retired? Mike or Matt? Medium pass to Bradshaw from the 13. Pittsburgh doubles him. Stabler looks in that direction anyway, and that's incomplete. Glenn Edwards got a hand on it, third and two. Van Egan on the screen. Stabler finds Van Egan at the eight, and he gets a gain of four. So Lambert will bring it down, 2.16 to go. All right, Matt says they've only retired two numbers before Franco. I imagine Big Ben being one, because that would be the recent one. And Bradshaw? Or Mean Joe Green? Did I get... So those are the three names I'll give you. All of them would be worthy of having their numbers retired. So first and ten, Raiders 17. 2.16 to go. More on a medium short. They double branch. Stabler back to throw it. He's got more at the 24. And as he goes up, steps out of bounds. But it is a catch for seven yards. Second down and three, 208 to go. 70 and 75. Well, 75 is Mean Joe Green. I don't know who 70 is. I know, I know, I know. You'll, you'll yell at me for that. Branch, or uh, Ernie Stotner, okay. Kitchen sink blitz for Pittsburgh. Stabler looks for Branch. Lambert knocks it away. So Stotner, who was a star for the Steelers before the Steelers had stars. So amazingly enough, I would have thought that, that there would have been Big Ben, too. This will be the first offensive number that the Steelers have ever retired. Yeah, NFL teams are less inclined to retire numbers in other sports. Absolutely. I mean, the Yankees are going to be playing with people wearing the number asterisk at some point. Third down and three. They'll try for Bradshaw again. He faces double coverage. Stabler tries to find him. He's got it at the 33. And Blount will push him out the 40 for a gain of 16. Stotner was enshrined in Canton, Tribe fan says, in 1969. So, again, an original star for the Sailors in an era where they didn't play very well. In fact, their first ever playoff game was the Immaculate Reception 50 years ago Friday. Right here at Three Rivers Stadium. Branch on a medium pass, first and 10. Safety blitz for the Steelers. He's going to find Branch. No, Andy Russell with a cover. 146 to go as we get into garbage time here at Three Rivers. Well, Franco is behind in that end zone on the left side, and he is sitting in the stands with his army. Branch again in the medium. Stabler to throw it. He's got, they're trying to roll around. He's looking for Bradshaw, and Ed Bradley knocks it away. Third down and 10. Noel looks over and says, look, we could get the ball back. Medium again to Branch. Here comes Jack Ham. Stabler pressured, sacked. Loss is six. L.C. Greenwood with a sack. And as Ray Guy comes out, he gets a standing ovation. So the final score is going to be 24 to 6. You're not going to do a fake punt from the 34. Mm -hmm. 
Guard gets it away. Edwards at his own 24. Steps out of bounds after a gain of two and a minute four to go. And in comes Franco for one more play. The Steelers aren't going to call time. Inside run for Franco. Everyone in the house expecting it. He is stuffed for a loss of one. He's going to take the outside run. And he's going to get to keep the football and run all the way to the locker room. It's a gain of four and a legendary career. What a ball game for Franco Harris. He has been voted by the computer as the MVP. How about that? 116 yards, two touchdowns on the ground, two catches for 15. Franco Harris, a legend everywhere outside Pittsburgh as well. The final score, 24-6 Pittsburgh. The Steelers run the ball for 205 yards. 116 of those go to Franco American. Eat your SpaghettiOs, America. The Raiders turned it over twice, and Pittsburgh just made them pay. There was only a field goal by Blanda in the fourth quarter. The Steelers opened up for 17 in the second quarter. Harris's first touchdown got it done. And then Jarella on a field goal. And then Frank Lewis from Terry Bradshaw. And if you ever wonder about this era of football, Terry Bradshaw only threw the football 20 times. They ran it 35, 38, 43 times. Chuck Knoll is a happy camper. And so that'll do it for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So sad because Franco was so looking forward to the ceremony on Chris or on yeah, Christmas Eve. And so tomorrow we'll be doing some baseball for you and explain them about how the golf game screwed up. So thanks for watching and thanks for being part of this. Godspeed, Franco Harris. Final score, 75 AFC Championship game. Steelers 24, Raiders 6. Good night, everybody.